The Walking Dead Season 8, Episode 13, Do Not Send Us Astray. So this episode, I would definitely say was pretty awesome. Um, we got, I want to say, two more episodes to go, two or three more to go, and we are absolutely done with this season, and I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm definitely looking forward to it. This episode was pretty fun. Uh, this was the battle that I was thinking about in the comics, um, or at least like the first half. It's kind of like what they did with Alexandra, where they kind of split up the battle where it's like oh this is what's happening here and then they cut it and then they'll kind of bring it back a little later so i'm kind of excited to see how that plays out because i would assume it's still going to happen at the hilltop again uh this time it'll be the full battle with negan and everybody else and everything that's going on but i'm definitely looking forward to it because this one was crazy uh they did you know kind of what they did in the comics and it was you know hitting people with you know with the um with the blades and stuff like that and people getting infected in the night after everything's all said and done take some people out, you know, things are like, oh, we wanted to have, you know, Maggie says, like, I wanted to kill every single person. Her goal was to get Negan there, which she would have if Rick hadn't gone and, you know, uh, did what he did. But it was like, the goal was to get him here. So the last thing he could see was my husband's grave. And now she's worried, like, this is screwed up. Like this, that's what I wanted. And I definitely didn't get that. So not only was the cost not worth it, uh, worth the reward, but we didn't, we had the cost without the reward. So she's freaking out about whether or not she is truly a good leader. And, you know, people are adjusting to being at the hilltop and stuff like that. And then it gets really crazy because it was already good. I was like, all right, I'm enjoying this. You know, they're doing the stuff. They have all the different signals and everything. They had like everybody laying on their horns as, um, you know, kind of like relaying the message. Like, here they come. So they were prepared the whole time and it just didn't work out exactly like they wanted. They took some down. Some people, of course, got stabbed and cut and stuff like that. And then when it hits nighttime, not only do we have, I can't even think of the kid's name, but we have the kid finding the assault rifle. I was like, well, I know this is going to go wrong. So he finds the assault rifle and they start showing like the time. And I was like, all right, it's the countdown clock. So he has his gun. Then they cut to, uh, you know, the people that are in like the medical trailer. And I was like, here it goes. Starts off simple. You got like a couple of people waking up. It's the people that are actually in there. Then one guy's like, oh, I'm going to get the doctor course he gets eaten by the guy that uh carol was talking to and then the doctor comes along sees some blood she's taken out so it's, uh i want to say his name is sadiq if i remember correctly he's the last like medical person left which that's just kind of how you know stories go once you're a main character and you have a specific position the minor characters get taken out in some way shape or form if it's the walking dead it's zombies so she gets killed off and then it's just like and i love the way they did it. like i think this is one of my favorite episodes as far as how they paced it where it's like oh this thing happened and then they cut to commercial it was like there are a couple of moments in this where i was like i can't wait to see what happens next like i was actually really really excited just to see how bad it was gonna get so this is definitely uh one of my favorites uh just so far like i think this whole season this is probably one of my favorites just for the second half after you know the saviors were gone their actual plan playing out was really fun to watch because it was like i don't know who's gonna i assumed Obviously, our main characters were going to live, but it was like, how bad is this really going to get for them? And, you know, people are walking around or, you know, zombies just shuff shuffling through. The one zombie falls down the stairs. Nobody was waking up. Everybody apparently is just the heaviest sleeper after, you know, a little skirmish. Um, and so, you know, you just got a bunch of girls. I was like, it was just watching. I was like, this is super loud. This dude fell down the stairs. It's like three of them just going like, ah, just trying to, you know, eat everybody. I was like, this is loud. And everybody's just like, mm, just taking naps, just sleeping at night. So then it gets crazy, you know, they cut back to the kid and he's like, who killed my brother? And Gregory, I almost forgot his name, I, just, I don't even care that much, but Gregory was, of course, the first thing he said, which I loved it, the first thing he did was like, oh, sweet, uh, get me out of here, open this up. It was the first thing he said, I was like, he just has like, there's no tact, he's just, I want to escape, please help me escape, that's like his thing, he's very weak. Um, but, you know, they he talks to the kid and then uh, the one dude who seems like an okay guy, He's like, hey, my big brother died too, and this won't make you feel better for long, like, if you get your revenge. And then it was like, screw this. He unlocks the cage, and he's just waving the gun around. It's like, I'm going to count to 10. And then, of course, the screams come along, and uh, someone within the, the pen actually ends up turning as well. So she ends up biting somebody. That throws everything off, so the kid gets pushed down. We don't know what happens to him. Everybody's looking for him later, so he's just up and vanished. And most of the people take off, but... Uh, the one guy mentions, like, you know, those of us who stayed have stayed. And it's like, I don't know if that'll mean anything or if it proves anything, but that's just how it is right now. Those of us who stayed, stayed. We could have left and we didn't. So 
they'll be sticking around, mostly him, you know, the other people. The, we didn't even see their faces. They're just like, oh, they're closing the gate over there. Who cares? So he'll be sticking around. I assume Gregory is there, but we don't actually see him later. So he probably took off too because he knows the position he's in. He probably took off with the Saviors. So curious how that's going to end up playing out uh, for his character based off of what I can think of from the comics. So don't know how that'll be uh, with him, but it's like, all right. So a lot of people are gone. This kid is up and vanished. They kind of, you know, everything is all cleared out and said and done. They're freaking out about Tara because uh, they assume that she's, you know, potentially infected. They don't know the stuff about Dwight. Um, of course, he's totally saved her life, even though Simon was like 100 million miles away uh, when he shot her in the arm, unless he was about to throw. I mean, Rick did in the last episode, so I guess he was about to just like chuck it at her head or something to actually try to hit her. Um, but of course, Dwight ends up saving her because he hits her in the arm. Uh, even though she fell down like she was dead because like she she turned and was like shooting the gun and was just like oh crap like she fell over like she actually died um but she got hit in the arm and she you know totally fine i'm sure she's not infected obviously the whole thing is him trying to be the double agent right now so he ends up saving her life and they'll figure it out later but of course it's like oh he's you know he's gone back with them he's the bad guy and they actually had a cool uh little conversation earlier on between uh tara and daryl which i actually really enjoyed where he was talking about like you know if i stayed with my brother if he was still alive we would have been with them too like we would have been with the saviors because i would have stuck with my brother and we would have been with them or you know someone just as bad it's like but i figured out who they were just like you figured out um who the governor was and they talk about the difference between you know being with someone and actually being on that side you know for real and i was like that's actually kind of cool it was just like a, a little conversation as they kind of went through the motions but I was like, that's actually kind of cool. Like, I, I like that idea where they separate that. Where it was like, you were, you were there, but you didn't know what that, you didn't, you know, she didn't know the governor was like absolutely freaking insane. She was there. And then she realized like, this dude sucks. He, he's bad. So it's that same thing. And I think Dwight, you know, went back with him because they don't know just yet. But I like that little moment. Daryl was actually, you know, he had some conversations in this episode um i just feel like he's been like just the silent like every i feel like every scene with daryl for like the past season and a half has just been him shooting people or riding his motorcycle like he i feel like he doesn't have dialogue anymore it's weird um but yeah definitely fun episode i was like all right i like the madness i'm excited to see where things go in these next two episodes for sure obviously i didn't see the you know any clips because i didn't watch the terror thing i'm gonna watch that tonight because i was like i'm just gonna watch the whole two hours um so i'm looking forward to that show that that will have a review tomorrow because i'm not going to be able to do it tonight but definitely looking forward to that but this was a good episode like i said we're going into the final two and i'm excited i, I can't wait to see what they do with the whole jadis negan thing that's probably what the next episode focuses on i would assume and then just going into the finale is like i don't know what's gonna happen because i'm honestly a little shocked simon is still alive like i'm sure he'll die uh either in the finale or the episode beforehand but i just don't know i'm like he's the wild card and then we still don't technically know what happens uh with the woman that dwight uh was trying to figure out like if she lived or died so she still hasn't shown up yet so it's like i don't know she might still be there and just you know they save that for the end and he's like oh crap now i gotta just start you know laying out the place so i'm looking forward to what we're gonna get in these next two or three episodes however many we got left um but I'm definitely excited. And Morgan also, uh, not really a big storyline, but that dude's just going crazy again. It's like, what the F? Like, he's either sane, not killing somebody, which is annoying, killing everybody, which is okay. Um, or then he kills a dude, and now he's just like, you know what it is, and he's losing his mind again. I'm like, I, him and Gabriel sometimes, they just be making me mad. <laughs> it's just like, I just I just don't know sometimes. Gabriel's blind now, and I don't know. He's, I don't know. But Morgan's going crazy, so we'll see how that plays out. Uh, he's going to be in Fear of the Walking Dead this season, so I'm actually excited for that. Um, I think that'll be the sane version of him. I would hope, because honestly, him going crazy, I'm not that interested in, because I feel like that's pretty much been his character ever since he got back. He's either, I will never murder somebody, which is also kind of crazy considering some of the situations he's been in, or he's full-on crazy because now he's hallucinating this one guy, and I'm just like, what is he going through? He was fine. Everything seemed okay he'd been killing people forever i just don't know why this suddenly made a difference i really don't but it is what it is morgan's going nuts it's just crazy so good episode morgan thing 
I don't know. We'll see what happens in these next couple episodes. But of course, we'd love to know what you guys thought about this one. So please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts about it, at least favorite parts about it. And going into, you know, the last couple of episodes, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's only two episodes left. At, at most, it's three. I know we don't even have four or five. Um, but going into these last couple, I would love to know your predictions on how everything's about to play out just as a whole, because like I said, Simon's still alive. Dwight's still with them. The one woman could still be alive to out him and he might have to just take off. Um, obviously the stuff with Jadis and Negan, we don't know what's going on there. I would assume the stuff with Eugene and Gabriel will come back and we'll get that storyline continuing before, you know, the season ends, they'll have some role to play. So there's still a couple of things kind of on the outliers where it's like that could still happen there's some stuff going on here uh the seaside group we still haven't really seen much of them and you know aaron sticking around there so we don't really know what's going on with that so there's some other little stuff that they still have to kind of wrap up before the season ends so i'd love to know your predictions on where things are just flat out headed in these next couple of episodes and just what you guys want to see like how things may or may not go with negan dying or how he might die or you know somebody i don't know throw a bucket of guts on them and then it's like oh i'm infected i don't know but love to know your predictions and like i said just what you guys want to see i definitely want to know what you guys thought about this episode in general so please comment below let me know and thanks for watching